Hey, thanks for joining today. Uh, joining me today. Uh, it's August 9th, and today's episode is going to be what probably most of you have been waiting for, and that is we're going to delve deep into the ads today. Uh, probably not too deep, um, but we'll, we'll try to get as much accomplished as we can today, and I'll try to keep the the face-to-face -face as minimal as possible. So I got some stuff ready for us. So this is Power Editor. Um, to get to Power Editor from your ads manager, just go up to here to Power Editor. This is where I like doing all my uh, ads. You, a little bit more room for error. You, uh, before you make all your ads go live, you hit this review item and you can see all the changes that you made, whether you like changed a budget or uh, made a new ad. And so I like that. Um, cause I like, I don't like to make mistakes, but I do make a lot of mistakes. So I just made a PPE ad here just so that we had one. Um, it's, I, I haven't done any targeting on it. I just wanted to make it so it's there. So what I generally do is I'll make a PPE ad and I, I always try out a few different strategies. Don't ever, um, I haven't found the one strategy that's going to work 100% of the time. So usually every week I try to come up with three theories or um, uh, ideas that I have that have been based on last week and then make some improvements on it. And so um, what I've been doing the last few weeks is I do PPE and then I duplicate to add to cart and then to buy. And so I want to show you how to do that today. Um, the duplication process is very important because it takes the data that you've already accumulated on your PPE or add to cart ad and then transfers it over to the new ad. Now it doesn't transfer all the data over, but it does help to transfer the data over. Um, you're really going to see a big difference in your ads once they, uh, they're running for enough time in order to optimize. And to optimize, you need 15 to 25 conversions in a week. So let's just jump into it. I'll break it down piece by piece. So PPE, dupli uh, PPE ad right here. I just named it duplicate. So what we're going to do is we're going, we want to duplicate this ad. So we just had this ad. It's been running for a few days. We want to duplicate it. Or, or maybe just do it simultaneously. Launch an ad to cart and a PPE or, an ad to, or a PPE and a view content right at once. I, I personally, um, if you're kind of new, do the PPE ad first for two days so that you can see the data. If you're getting under five cents a uh, engagement, uh, preferably under three cents or two cents. If you're doing a video, you need to be under one cent per engagement. Um, if you're if you're getting engagement in that, the cost per engagement, then that's uh, typically good data to at least uh, duplicate to an ad to cart and see what you can get out of the ad to cart. So, PPE ad here. We're gonna duplicate this ad. So you have a PPE ad campaign we're going to duplicate this into a conversion so go to duplicate and then new campaign so right here we're gonna call this a conversion ad and then I always do PPE or conversion like that how I spelled it and then I put the product right here so um, we're just gonna name it the same thing because uh, it's a duplicate and then that's the that's the campaign auction good and then Scroll down here to conversion, and we just want to make one duplicate for now. You could make uh, like two or th two or three, like if you were doing a PPE ad to uh, news uh, to multiple countries, and then you wanted to break it down. Um, since different countries are in different time zones, um, I would uh, stick to uh, using a country in like one. Like you could use Canada and U.S. together, or Ireland and United Kingdom, or New Zealand and Australia. Um, I like to use them. They're all English-speaking countries. It's uh, the big six, but uh, the, if you do, if you do all six, I tend to notice that one country optimizes really well because maybe the first 30% of your budget went to that country in their time zone because they were awake, especially if you launched at midnight, UK is going to be awake there starting their day. And so it's going to get, uh, it's going to spend a lot of money in the UK because other countries aren't available. And then it may not be putting as much money towards other countries. Now, if you had that ad running for a month, it'll probably optimize across the full spectrum. But if uh, if you're trying to test it out for a day or two, um, you don't want to lose uh, $150 for the month. So conversion duplicate, uh, so yeah, <laughs> one, uh, one duplicate. So 
So what I do here, so um, I just made a new pixel here. Um, so what you want to do is go to the add to cart. You could even do view contents. I had I did the meth uh, for the first two months. I was doing um, PPE two days, uh, duplicate to view content for two days, um, figure out uh, if the view contents can get add to carts. The view content, if you're kind of new, do the view content um, instead of what I'm doing with the add to cart because the view content will be able to optimize for those 15 to 25 conversions within um, like a day or two. So you're going to actually see the potential of what a fully optimized ad will do. It can potentially drop your cost in half. And so for add to cart, in order to get 15 to 25 per week, it'll probably have to go for a week. And if you're only spending $5 a day, it'll probably get there. Um, if you have a winner winning product, if, if you don't have a winning product, it probably won't get there. And then for a buy ad, you would need to spend more money for it to potentially optimize in a week. Uh, not saying that you can't get uh, sales off $5 ads because that's what I start out with. And then I move up to like, a, um, all right, we'll get into that another. I digress. So trying to stay focused. So add to cart right here. And then um, we will, um, we'll just keep moving. So add to cart. And then daily budget, five bucks, perfect. You could go seven. I like five. Um, and then I, what I do is I just hit this review button up here at like 12.05 p.m. But if you're not going to be up or you're, you're busy and you don't want to pay attention to it, just uh, set it for 12, um, 12.01. And then also on the weekends, you're going to get different traffic on the weekends. Um, so like what I try to do is I try to launch my products on like uh, – uh, Monday 1201 or Tuesday 1201 and then it has like two days to uh, get that data if I like it add to cart on Wednesday or Thursday then I can make some money hopefully on but for the weekend um, don't schedule uh, and then custom so um, like I said if you're doing um, if you had done I would suggest leaving your PPE if your PPE is successful don't change anything just duplicate to the add to cart and you're done. Um, if you if you're going to multiple countries, break it down. Uh, maybe make like three add to carts and then break it down into different countries, or just pick the country that you, that the data is telling you that um, is the best one to opt uh, the best one to go for. And then in here, um, I, okay. So when I said don't change anything, I lied. So I uh, I usually do uh, age 20. Um, not I know a lot of people say don't do 18 to 20 because they don't have credit cards. Um, I could argue both ways on that. <laughs> I don't have a solution, but I that that is something I do change to 20. Um, and then yeah, yeah, you can save the audience. Um, this expand button right here. Sometimes that'll get auto checked for you. I've split tested that. And feel free to do that um, yourself. Split test with two ads. Um, it works about half the time for me. <laughs> so uh, if your if your audience is small over here, like you only have a few hundred thousand, you could do that. But if you're in a really niche audience where, um, if you're in a really niche audience, um, you don't want you don't want to. I, I I wouldn't do that. Expand interest in certain audiences. Um, like uh, like fan audiences, like if you were doing like a print on demand service for like uh, like Marvel, if, if you weren't copywriting it, I would just uh, I probably wouldn't expand. But it's up to you. I could be wrong. So um, I just didn't change this before when I made my PPE. But you want to do uh, like I always teach. They they have this new messenger thing. I haven't tried that yet. Um, should I, I have seen heard some good stuff about it seen some people talking about it they said it, it is good I just haven't looked into it yet so uh, feeds and then um, you also when you when you do your break or I haven't gotten into that yet so you can you can choose which device type there's a there's a ton of information when it comes to ads and so I, there this is really the biggest part of the drop shipping business and so I'm gonna have they'll, they'll probably be however many other videos I've made so far They'll probably be more in just ads, just because it's so complex and it's ever changing. And so, when you look on YouTube for videos, um, there, there's tons of other people out there with really good content. 
Um, but just make sure that you're looking at up-to-date information because uh, you can usually tell if, if they're doing a video on Facebook ads and uh, your ads look different than theirs, it's probably outdated. So um, Pixel isn't ready, that shouldn't pop up for you. The seven day click, um, this is something kind of new. I've, I've, I have researched a little bit into it. Again, um, it's kind of hard to say on this. Uh, I would say, I would say do, I've been doing one day click on all my ads for the last three weeks. Before that, I was always doing seven day because it was just auto selected and I'd try to change as little things as possible in my ads, just keep it simple. That's the best thing to do, just keep it simple. Um, so that's up to you. I, I so I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you the way that I do it, but just I, I, I don't want you to think that I'm I'm trying to steer you in the wrong way or that I'm purposely giving you bad information. I'm always testing things out and I'm always testing new strategies out. There's no one way to do it. There's tons of ways to do it. I just want to show you how I do it and then kind of the the thought process behind why I do it and then jokingly in my head it's always like an angel and a devil on my shoulder like should I do this or should I do this and and uh, there's there's pros and cons to, as as you get pros and cons to both as you get more experience you'll have more data so that you can look at more stuff your budget gets bigger so that you can test out more strategies in a given week like I would love to be more profitable in my business but I would way rather be more profitable in 12 months so if I have to kind of uh, take a hit for the first few months and, and pretty much reinvest 100% of my money back into the business and kind of take a hit on my personal life and not be able to enjoy as many things as I used to, then that's okay for me because I know that if I pay the dues now, later on it'll pay off and I would rather, I would rather be enjoying my life when I have this I, I have this down and I'm making a hundred thousand a month or two hundred thousand dollars a month versus making ten thousand dollars a month I might as well invest that in the business because the roof is there, there's no roof on this if I was in if I was at an hourly job or a sales job like when I worked in car sales I would I, I, I saved 10 to 20 percent of my money and I'm using it now but I would uh, I just spend most of my money because I knew there was another month and the seal the ceilings only so high um, I've heard of people selling 50 cars in a month and, and, and that's like $25,000, but there, there's, there's a ceiling on it. And so, um, with this, there's really no ceiling and that's what I love about it because I can, I can turn myself into, into, I can, I can turn my bank account into whatever I want in a much shorter amount of time if I put in the work. And so I play the long game. Uh, I suggest you do too, cause, uh, it's, it, it's not just a one and done thing. You want to you want to invest your money back into the business. I consider my business like a baby, and it's more important to me, just like a parent would care for their baby and uh, maybe not eat what they want to eat because they need to buy their baby clothes and diapers, and there's a lot of money that goes into a baby. And so I treat my business like a baby, and I whatever it's more important than me, <laughs> pretty much how it is. It's more of my feelings don't matter. So, um, I think that's uh, it for duplication for the add to cart. Um, I always double check, scroll up and down, make sure I don't forget anything because that's why Power Editor is nice. Um, it's easy with all these things in here and it is kind of a tedious task sometimes. And so you want to make sure that, uh, that you just double check everything you've done. And I know it's not perfect with the targeting, but um, yeah, so we did the conversions, one day click. Um, yeah, so I stick with automatic bidding. Um, I'll get into manual bidding on another one once I, I'm still testing out some theories on that. I have had success, but um, only about 60-70% of the time. So until I, I up my percentage, I don't want to give you bad information. And so, um, so okay, so we have, oh, and I would also do this. So I named that right, right? Yeah. So my naming scheme, because you're going to get, uh, eventually you're going to have um, like, 20 to 100 ad sets running, probably more. Um, but I do this, so conversion, and then this is an add to cart, and then it's um, the tart, or it's a, this is the product, it's a duplicate, and duplicate just meaning that it, the product would be elephant necklace. And then right here I do my audience, so um, it, it could be like, um, uh, like rescue um, 20 plus, um, well, I wouldn't even put 20 plus there. 
Um, if I did like 25 to 34, I've been shifting away from that though. I've, I, I try to just keep it. I like big audiences. I've tried both ways. And a lot of what I've learned online says to do um, small audiences, a uh, real deal, to, like take your PPE. So let me just show you. So, um, and, and that's my naming scheme. So let me, let me show you this breakdown. So I like, I like to do big, uh, big audiences. Oh, I'm not going to be able to show you on this. I don't think. So over here, you can sort by age and gender and like, um, impression device. And then it'll show you like, say you have, uh, say most of your, say you have, uh, three out of five of your ad to carts in 25 to 34 females and it's only been going for like two three days I used to just uh, make a buy ad 25 to 34 females and uh, sometimes it would work and sometimes it don't doesn't and I believe that the reason for that was was because when you're doing your uh, breakdown over like a two or three day period when you're still testing out the product, you don't have enough data yet. So yeah, you have five add to carts, but potentially there's thousands, maybe millions of um, add to carts out there that are potential captures. And so just like with the countries optimizing, they may have gotten the first add to cart for 25 to 34 female. So in their algorithm, they're going to, um, it's going to guess more at that because it's already had success there. So it's gonna keep throwing more money there in hopes that it gets more success. Now, if it doesn't get success there, then it's going to shift its money towards maybe another demographic, say iPhone, that maybe the first person was also iPhone, and so now it's going to start throwing money towards iPhone. And then it's going to use all the all the different demographics and all the different interests, and it's going to uh, figure out how to find your, your best uh, ad to carts um, or buyers if you're doing a purchase conversion. And so my theory on that is that you don't have enough data after two days to do that. And just because you have three add to carts in the 25 to 34 range doesn't mean there's other add to, there's not other add to carts out there. So you had two other add to carts that were maybe in like 65 plus and 44 to 55 or whatever it is. And so, yeah, you're, the majority is coming out of the 25 to 34, but that's not saying there's not add to carts in all those other age groups that you just haven't captured yet, that it hasn't found yet, that the algorithm, your ad set hasn't figured it out yet. And so you don't want to narrow it down because let's say the 25 to 34 is only 100,000 people and the rest of the audience is a million people. Then instead of having a million people to pick from for the cheapest auction because you're, you're at an auction, Facebook's an auction, so if you have a million people to choose from, it's going to be able to get really, really cheap things. This is probably cheaper than the thumb. And uh, if you have only 100,000 people, even if maybe maybe out of the million people, uh, you only have 10% uh, uh, interested, and out of the 100,000 people, you have 30,000 or 30% uh, interested, but that's only 30 thousand people compared to a hundred thousand people and so it's still gonna have less to pick from which may raise your bid up and your CPM because it's not having a large enough uh, group to choose from so uh, when my when I always heard about that uh, narrow it down I was trying that but I had one ad set that I said no I'm gonna do it my way and I did it my way and that's the one ad set that's made me the 20 it's made me uh, two-thirds of all my money that I've, I've made and so I like big ad sets. Um, I like big ad sets, or not big ad sets, big uh, big audiences. Um, so yeah, you can sort with this. Um, how much time are we at? 19 minutes. So I think that's good for here. There, there. I, I can make this video 10 hours long. <laughs> I could talk forever about ads, and I'd love to talk to you about it. So if you have any questions, um, include them in the comments below. I'd love to start a conversation about this and. Uh, and kind of get your feedback if you're, um, depending on how much experience you have and, and what you've done with your Shopify store, um, get your feedback on what you think and what your experience has been. And if you have any questions, let me know. And hopefully you like today's video. And uh, have a great day. Go make some money.